Hi everyone, today we are going to proceed with our unit 8 in our book, Access Book 5. Unit 8 is about food and drinks. Today is our lesson 2, school lunch. Our learning objectives for today 1. Learn new vocabulary related to food 2. Read text about lunch and match them to the correct pictures Learn about countable and uncountable nouns 4. Choose a lunch for your partner after asking her some questions and the last objective is write about the school lunch. It's a homework. Let's start with activity one, talk. Here every girl in the class is going to choose a partner and ask his hair these two questions. Do you eat lunch at school? What do you eat? For example, if I choose my partner, Alia, for example. Okay, Alia, do you eat lunch at school? Yes, I have my lunch at school. What do you eat? I usually eat a cheese sandwich with tomatoes and some milk. We are going to start with our objective one, learn a new vocabulary related to food. Here we can see six pictures. Picture one, cheese, cheese, cheese is one syllable, cheese, rice, rice, only one syllable, soup, Two, only one syllable. V G T pulse, four syllables. V G T pulse. Milk, milk. Water, water. There is no O in the spelling of water. But these two letters, W A, pronounce wo. So, wo tar. Two syllables. Wo tar. Now we have finished our learning objective. The new vocabulary in our lesson two. We are going to move now to read some text about lunch and match them to the correct pictures. As we can see, we have three texts about school lunches. Read about school lunches around the world. First, we are going to start with Mariam from the UAE. What does Mariam have for lunch at her school? Every day I have a sandwich with the cheese and some juice. I also have an apple. Sometimes I have four dates. So Mariam talks about her school lunch. She mentions that she has a sandwich with the cheese. She drinks some juice 
and she also has an apple. Sometimes, not every day, she has four days. So, Mariam, if we have a look at these pictures, Mariam is picture P. In her school lunch, she has a sandwich, and also I can see an apple, and she has some juice. Two, we are going to read about Lucas from Brazil. I like school lunches. Today, we are having vegetables and rice. For dessert, everyone gets a banana and some water. Here Lucas mentions that he likes school lunches. It means that the school offers all the students lunch. So all the students in Lucas school have the same lunch. Today they have vegetables and rice. After they finish lunch, they have dessert, if something is sweet after lunch. Everyone in his school gets a banana and some water. Again, look at the pictures. We notice that Lucas must be picture C because he has a banana in his hand and also I can see some rice in front of him. Picture three, Noriko from Japan. As you know that most Japanese people like to eat with chopsticks. So we eat lunch with chopsticks. Again, Noriko says we. It means that all the students in her school have lunch at school. Today's lunch is soup, rice, and fish. We have fruit for dessert. After they finish rice and fish, they have something, something sweet, which is fruit. We usually drink milk. They prefer to drink milk. They don't usually have juice. No. They prefer to drink milk. So as I can see, Noriko is picture A. Now we have finished our learning objective 2. We have read text about lunch. School lunches around the world, three texts. And we have matched them to the correct picture. Our learning objective three, learn about countable and uncountable nouns. What do we mean by countable nouns? Are the nouns that we can count them with numbers. With numbers. For example, I can say apples. Apples, I can count apples using numbers. I can say one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, twelve apples, etc. Also dates, I can count dates with numbers. I can say I want five dates, I have to eat seven dates etc. But uncountable nouns are those nouns that we can't count them with numbers. And also, they don't have a plural S. So, these numbers, first, we can't count them. I can't count water. I can't say one water two waters, three waters. Also, water don't, doesn't have the plural S. We never says waters. The second example is rice. Also rice 
is uncountable now. We can't count rice one by one like this. We can't count rice. Here in activity three, we are going to find the bold words in the text and write them in the table below. As we can see in our table, there are two columns. Column one are the words that we can count them, and the second one are the words that we can't count them. First, let's look at the bold words in the text. Sandwich, cheese, juice, apple, dates, vegetables, rice, banana, water, soup, milk. The first one sandwich it's written for you in the first column because sandwich we can count sandwich. I can say two sandwiches or three sandwiches etc. Cheese is uncountable now. We can't count cheese. And also, there is no S in cheese. The third one is juice. Also, juice is uncountable, and you are going to write it in the second column. Apple, countable. And as we can see here, an apple it means one apple but I can say two apples three apples etc so apple is countable now dates also are countable nouns and we know this from four for dates, I can change a four to any other number. I can say six dates, seven dates. And also, we see the S at the end of the word. Now, vegetables also are countable nouns. Rice, uncountable noun. Banana, countable noun. Water, uncountable noun. So, it's written here under, we can't count it, we can't count water. Soup, uncountable. And the last one is milk, also uncountable. Now look at the table. The words that we can count them are sandwich, I can say sandwiches. Apple, I can say apples. Dates, I can say date or dates. Vegetables, I can say vegetable or vegetables. Banana. And the words we can't count it never have S, never have the plural S. So, these words are water, cheese, juice, rice, soup. Now we have finished and we have learned it about countable and uncountable nouns. Now we are going to move also milk, yes, uncountable noun. We are going to move to number four, choose a lunch for your partner after asking her some questions. Here in activity four, each student is going to choose a partner for her and all the students are going to ask each other see these questions to choose a lunch for your for their partners. For example, I'm going to choose Aisha, for example, as my partner, I am going to ask Aisha these three questions and check her answers and write these answers here. 
Why? Because I am going to invite Aisha for lunch. So I have to know what Aisha likes, what Aisha likes to drink, and what food doesn't Aisha like. So I'm going to ask my partner, Aisha, these three questions. What's your favorite food? Egg sandwich, orange, dates, nuts. So I know that Aisha likes egg sandwiches and she likes oranges or dates for dessert and she likes to have nuts. What's your favorite drink? Aisha likes coffee, water. What food don't you like? Candy, shoes, it. So I know that Aisha doesn't like candy. If I'm going to invite Aisha for lunch, I won't offer her candy because Aisha says I don't like candy. Juice, apples, so I'm not going to offer Aisha any juice or any apples. So here in activity six, when I want to write some sentence about what you choose for your partner's lunch, I am going to mention and have in mind the answers of Aisha because Aisha is my partner. Okay, what I'm going to write here, today's lunch is some egg sandwiches with tomato and some milk because Aisha says that she likes egg sandwiches. And I choose some milk because Aisha doesn't like juice. For dessert, we can have some oranges. Again, because Aisha likes oranges, but she doesn't like apples. So I am not going to offer her any apples in the lunch. There are some dates with Arabic coffee. So I am going to serve Aisha some dates because she likes dates with Arabic coffee also because she mentions that she likes coffee. Now we have finished our fourth learning objective and the last one you have to ask any partner in your class or in your house and you have to write some sentence like this about the school lunch for today. Thank you for listening and I hope you have enjoyed my lesson.